Hi everyone. I wanted to talk a little bit more about Raphael Warnock and what type of guy this is. Um, what type of a horrible human being this guy is. Not only does he keep witnesses away from the police to help children that have been abused at a camp that he works with. Um, and is arrested for impeding an investigation, a, a video I just made. But, you know, he's one of these guys that, you know, when he's fighting with his girlfriend or his wife, he's going to run her over. This is the same guy who says you can't serve in the military and serve God because the left radical Democrats want to get it into the heads of the masses that the military is bad. Why? Because the military is what our president has at his disposal to put these devils in line when they're tearing down and, and burning down their cities. That's the agenda he supports, along with communism, socialism, Marxism, globalists. The abuse of children, trafficking, pedophilia. When you see a senator that makes about $200,000 a day living in a $10 million home, $8 million home, $4 million home, and they have multiple homes, and they have all this money, it's because they're doing crimes, supporting crimes, reforming laws on the back end to keep these crimes going without any obstruction while participating, supporting, and or covering up. That's how they make their money. Organ harvesting on the black market, pedophilia, trafficking, adrenochrome. Um, they're all Satanists, so they don't have a conscience. And they don't want you to have a conscience either. Um, so they can control you, brainwash you, control you, take away your rights and abuse you and take and, and take away your civil or human rights. What I'm going through right now with stalking and harassment and assault is what's going to be status quo for the rest of the country, including murder. If they're going to be able to take away whoever they want when they want. Um, which is why everything going on with the president, everything going on with these assaults against people, these billionaires paying they're paying domestic terrorists to, 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 to wage war on their own citizens in those cities and in, in those states pisses me off because I'm going through that right I've been going through that for 15 years and just like right now the, I can't get the police to do anything that's the way it's gonna be for everybody else it's, it's gonna be status quo for everybody Um, so I just want to talk about Raphael Warnock being a jerk, um, the cut type of guy he is. Um, you know, he's one of those guys that when he fights with his, his girlfriend or his wife or whatever, he's, he's a super, super asshole. Um, he ended up running over his wife's ex-wife's foot in a dispute domestic dispute. That's the kind of asshole he is. And this guy doesn't even belong um, in a Senate runoff. It's a, it's a damn joke. But the left radicals want him because he's the perfect antidote to, to brainwash the masses with some bullshit messages that fits their agenda. That's going to destroy our country. So this was written by Mark Moore of the New York Post, December 23rd of 2020. Ex-wife, Georgia Senate candidate, Reverend Raphael Warnock, told police, his ex-wife told police, he deliberately ran over her foot during a March 2020 domestic dispute and that her ex-husband is a great actor, according to the report. All these goddamn Satanists... People think I'm exaggerating when I say Satanists. 
People think I'm exaggerating. I'm being sen sensational. No, this is facts. These sick people are the biggest criminals and they're, they're Satanists. Um, they don't have a conscience. As long as it benefits them, it puts money in their pocket, it, it gives them prestige, they don't give a damn about anybody else. And this is the, the, the torture, murdering of people, children. Um, so anyways, his ex-wife, Oil Eye, told Atlanta police that Warnock ran over her foot during a dispute. She says all he cares about right now is his reputation because of his Senate run. And this is according to a body cam footage aired on Fox News, Tucker Carlson tonight. She says, I've tried to keep the way he acts under wraps for a long time. And today he crossed the line. So that's what's going on here. And he's a great actor. He's phenomenal at putting on a really good show. A tearful ex-wife, Nadoi told police, you know, when you have a, a boyfriend or a husband or, or even your own father, whatever, whatever the case may be, biggest asshole in the world, and then when it comes to other people and their reputation, they're the biggest actors and the biggest goddamn liars. That's Warnock. Warnock, on the other hand, was not charged, and police in a report obtained by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution said medical officials didn't find any visible signs of injury to his wife's foot. The video was aired exactly two weeks before the January 5th runoff election in Georgia, in which Warnock is challenging incumbent Republican Senator Kelly Loeffler one of the two races in the peach state that will determine which party controls the upper chamber of congress next year i can't believe this devil warnock oh we're in trouble we can't allow warnock to win um so in the footage it shows pat the pastor warnock the devil himself He's a pastor at the Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta, telling police that his estranged wife called officers and alleged that he ran over her foot as he tried to drive away in his car. And the two at the time were involved with, with divorce negotiations at the time. And the divorce has then since been finalized. Did you run over her foot? The officer asked. I don't think so, Warnock replied. I don't think so. The two, according to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, had been arguing over whether Warnock would allow her to apply for passports so she could take their two children to her grandfather's funeral in West Africa. Warnock told the officers that he tried to pull out his wife stopped him from closing the car's rear passenger, passenger door. His wife stopped him from closing the car's rear passenger door. I don't want to get into a shoving match with her, so I go back around, get back in the car, and I slowly start to move like I'm, I'm moving, like I'm going to move forward. Then she claims I ran over her foot, Warnock said. The officers then turn to Nodai, who tells them that the Warnock refused to talk to her. He's like, Oli, close the door, I'm leaving, his wife said, choking back her tears. And I was just like, just hear me out. If your mom died and I had the kids, wouldn't you want me to let them go with you to the funeral? And he just starts backing the car up. He wasn't going fast. I'm not bleeding, but I just can't believe he'd run me over. She said she thought he deliberately ran her over her foot. Obviously, I was standing here. The door was open and I'm leaning into the car. 
How can you drive the car when I'm lean, leaning into it, she said. See, he did it on purpose. I can't believe the cops didn't arrest him. The man's running for United States Senate and all he cares about right now is his reputation, she says to the officer. I've been very quiet about the way he really is for the reputation, for his reputation, and for my kids' sake, she said. And then he says to the police, Warnock, the devil says, I barely move and all of a sudden she's screaming that I ran over her foot. I don't believe it, he said. So running mate, Kelly Loeffler, said in response to the story that she was, that this is deeply troubling. It's deeply troubling. That Warnock is a devil. He doesn't belong around children. He doesn't belong having any political position, government, state, senate position. He belongs behind bars. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on with some of these people trying to run for government. And we got some straight devils. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope everyone's doing well. God bless everybody. Be good to each other. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye everyone.